Hey guys, it's NM Build here with a tutorial on Ohm's Law, and Ohm's Law is probably one of the most useful and fundamental equations that you will learn in the world of electronics, and I'm going to teach you about it. Alright, let's start it with what is Ohm's Law? Ohm's Law isn't exactly a law, it's more of a property, because it's a model for how much current will pass through a resistor at a given voltage. The theory behind Ohm's Law was developed by Henry uh, Cavendish and uh, Leyden Jars, though they never published their work. George Ohm was the actual first person to publish his work on this stuff, um, so that's why it's named Ohm's Law. Uh, Ohm's Law in its basic form is V equals IR, where V equals voltage, I equals current and R equals resistance. All right. Why doesn't why don't we use C for current um, instead of I? Well, that's because C stands for something called coulombs. I think that's how you spell it, right? Either that's a U or an O. Uh, but coulombs are actually a measure of um, electrons. Um, but that's not really within the scope of this video. They are. C and I are related though, but you don't want to get them mixed up because that would skew your results and uh, not look very good. Okay, so when we say voltage, what do we mean? I know that's kind of, on the surface that seems like an obvious question, but it can be quite difficult. So voltage is actually the voltage of the supply minus the voltage drop um, of all the components. So say we have a 9 volt battery with a plus and minus lead and then we have an LED which takes 3 volts which is pretty standard uh, so this LED is connected like that so this is a 3 volt LED on a 9 volt power supply the voltage drop across the LED is 3 volts so we have 6 volts left over because 9 minus 3 is 6 um, so this would actually be the voltage that you plug into the Ohm's Law equation because in theory, if you had a 3 volt drop across your um, circuit, you would not have 9 volts running through these wires. You'd only have 6, because this would slow the energy down um, by 3 volts, so that would be 6 volts running through this wire. So that's why you would plug 6 for voltage into Ohm's Law. Now, let's call the voltage drop V sub D, and then let's call uh, the supply voltage V sub S. Okay, so another way to write Ohm's law would be to say V S minus V D equals I R. Because if we think about, if we go back up to this example right here, V S equals 9, V D equals 3, so we'd plug 6 into Ohm's Law, and that would equal current times resistance. However, for shorthand's sake, let's just write V equals Vs minus Vd. Uh, this is just a shorter way to write it. Okay, so the value of I is the amount of current passing through the circuit. Okay, so say we have the 9 volt battery supplying an LED which takes 3 volts, so that's equal to 6. So, uh, 6 volts equals, and let's say the LED takes 30 milliamps. Uh, so current is, current, I should write this down, current is measured in amps, not milliamps. So if we have 30 milliamps, we would need to write 0 0.030 um, amps and 0 0.03 amps would be I, and then we'd have the R, which is the resistance. Now let's talk about the resistance. R equals resistance. Okay, and then resistance is shown by the Greek letter omega. Uh, you've probably seen this symbol around. V, I, R this is a very powerful combination of variables. Um, I'm going to show you why. Alright, let's remember that V equals IR, 
is an algebraic expression, so we can rewrite, re rewrite it any way we want to. Uh, so that includes, if we divide the whole thing by i, then we can say v over i equals r. So you can get directly get resistance. Or you can say uh, v equals i r, whoops, i r, and divide by r. Now we have v over r equals i. Now we have two additional ways of writing, and that's all we're going to get. So v equals i r. These are the three ways you could write it. Using the example of a 9 volt battery that needs to power a 3 volt LED, that's 30 milliamps, uh, let's figure out what resistance our resistor would need to be. So we'd go 9 minus 3 volt equals 6 volts. So we'd have V equals IR, Ohm's law. Um, so for V we'd have 6 volts equals, and then for I, the current, we would have 0.03 amps, which is 30 milliamps. Um, so let's go like 0 0.030 amps for current. And then what resistance would our resistor need to be? Well, to solve that, we'd go 6 divided by 0 0.03, which I think would be equal to 200. Uh, ohms equals R. So what does this mean? Uh, this means that you could have a circuit uh, that looked like this. So 9 volt battery plus minus lead 9 volt uh, with an LED um, and then connected to a 200 ohm resistor back to... So you could power a 3 volt LED like this and it would work. So that's partly why it's so powerful, and I'm going to show you a couple other examples. All right, let's look at another example where we have to calculate resistance. Um, so for this, we would say, or let's say that we have um, a 20 volt power supply, um, and we need we have a circuit that needs, let's say, uh, one amp. Okay, so. How do we know what resistance uh, to give it, or to our resistor should be in the circuit? Well, if we go 20 volts divided by 1 amp equals R, because we're just using the equation V over I equals R, like I have up here. So 20 divided by 1 is 20 equals R. So that's what you'd need. You need a 20 ohm resistor for the circuit. Let's say we have a power supply that can only supply 5 volts. Um, and we only have one resistor, which is 300 ohm. What current will be flowing through the, uh, the circuit if, if this is true? Well, let's use V over R equals I, because we these are the two... Um, values that we're given and we want to calculate current. So 5 volts divided by 300 ohms equals I. Alright, let's take out a calculator. Okay, divided by 300. So 5 divided by 300 um, would, will give us the value of current. So it's like it's 0 0.01, let's just say 7, let's round. Uh, so that's 17 M A. So that'll be good for like an LED or something. Okay, there's also another good way to remember this kind of thing. So if we take a triangle, divide it up into three sections, put V on top, I on one side, and R on the other, and if you cover up the I, you get I equals V divided by R, which is true, or you could cover up the V the number you're covering up is the thing that the other two equal. So cover up V equals I times R, which is also true. Or cover up R, and you get V equals, I mean, sorry, R equals V over I. And um, all three of these are true. 
and this is just a really good way to remember um, each equation. Alright, I hope you liked this video. If this helped you, please subscribe or like or comment if you have questions. Um, I really appreciate you viewing. Uh, see you next video.